She's blind, but that hasn't stopped her from making a name for herself in the kitchen. CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli is live at, in Lincoln Park at La Diosa with chef Laura Martinez. Hi, Vince. Oh, it sure smells good here this morning. I wish you could be here with me. Wonderful aromas in the kitchen. Uh, chef Laura, what are you making for us this morning? We're making a creamy chicken rice soup. I can't wait to have some of that for breakfast. Laura Martinez, as, as you said, is blind, but that hasn't stopped her from opening her own restaurant. And I have to ask you, Chef, first and foremost, there are a lot of hot and sharp surfaces in a kitchen. How is it that you can work in, in this environment and not hurt yourself? Um, a lot of communication, uh, concentration, and focus. I imagine you have things placed in very familiar spots. Can you take us on a quick tour of your kitchen and tell us where you have things? Sure. In the first drawer I have um, some spoons. Um, a little measuring take, device there? No, it's to take ice out. Mm -hmm. I got my measuring spoons, so not label, anything. It's pretty normal. Anybody can use them. And you keep your rice down there too because I saw you putting some rice in the soup, yep. right? Um, and this, I got my rice and I got salt. Um, I got my um, some bread. So everything is placed exactly where you need it. Some mm -hmm. people might say if you're blind, that's an obstacle to becoming a chef. What would you tell them? To stop, you know, using excuses. Disability is just an excuse for people that wants to be lazy and <laughs> and not go forward. The restaurant opened last week. Uh, what was that like, that moment when it opened? Uh, it was interesting. Uh, nervous. Um, you know, I probably made a lot of mistakes, but, you know, that's how you learn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard very good buzz about the restaurant. We're going to be spending more time uh, with Chef, and we're going to hear a little bit more about her backstory. She's worked in some pretty impressive places here in the Chicago area, too, and I can't wait to have some of that soup, but a watched pot never boils, so no. I have to wait until it boils, Yes, right? it's a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you in the studio. That really is neat. You know, they say when you lose a sense, your other senses pick it up, so I'm sure right? her yeah, sense of taste is probably incredible. An inspiring story. Thank you, mm -hmm. Vince.